Hello, welcome to this video session. In this video session, we are going to see a live hands-on demonstration on uh, visualizing a linear regression using scikit-learn library. So what exactly is planned as an outcome for this video session? Let us move over to that slide. So at the end of this session, the audience will be able to demonstrate linear regression using scikit-learn library. So before going to the hands-on session, let us quickly see what all the hands-on session would be focusing on. The first would be to generate a proper data set so that your linear regression can be modeled on. And then we will add uh, some small noise to the data set so that we can actually see linear regression being learned. And what we will be doing next is we will uh, use the scikit libraries linear regression uh, method under their linear models uh, uh, package category. And in the end, once we train the model and when we fit the model, we will also visualize the results by using matplot uh, library to plot and visualize the results as well. So let us move to the hands-on session here. So I have a Google Collab space which I'm going to switch to and I'll be typing all in the Collab editor. So this is Google Collab workspace. So let me type uh, the code snippet type by type here. So the first thing here is we'll import the required libraries. The most important library which we always require is NumPy which we will import as NP and then we'll also import so a linear model from scikit and instead of importing entire library we'll implement uh, linear since we are going to implement linear regression we, what we'll do is we'll only implement from linear model so we will import linear regression most often google collab gives you suggestions and they are very quite helpful during uh, typing this hands-on session and uh, we'll also be importing matplotlib and under matplotlib we'll prefer this where i will be using plot and uh, access method to plot the our visualization of linear regression so once we have a proper import system let me execute this segment yes so then i'll move to next code segment wherein we will uh, initialize a data set so in short when we're talking about linear regression we are uh, we here we rely on uh, let's say so we rely on linear regression and specifically we will implement linear regression for equation of y is equal to 5 times x where phi is my coefficient plus the intercept i will be using is 2 so this for this linear equation so we are targeting a points which observe this pattern and through the pattern we will uh, train our linear regression model so that it can understand or it can learn and guess the right coefficient values and intercept values based on the data set we generate. So let us generate a data set. So we will use NumPy to generate a random set and let x be a, we will dis we'll, we'll stick to a sample of 100. So we will define some variable size is equal to 100. And let me initialize some random variables. NP dot, we'll use NP dot random and under that we will initialize few random values of size 100 rows and column 1 and once we have done with this it is better i call reshape let me check what exact values we get it i don't think there is a need for reshaping it so if i see and output of this so okay i can see that i have a vector two dimensional vector 100 rows in one column so i have a x data set now when i have a x data set we'll be generating y so we also need y points and y points would be adhering to this equation remember i want my model to guess this 5 and this intercept 2 
so instead of directly generating the points and then uh, asking the linear regression to learn on a perfect data would not be a, a recommended strategy rather we will introduce a small error margin say plus two percent to minus two percent so to introduce that error margin let me generate an array of uh, some random values in a uniform distribution so i'll use np.random dot uniform so for that i need it 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 takes a range so low high and size so what i'll do is since i want from um, negative 2% to positive 2% i'll use the following values 2% in the sense 0 0.02 and the positive boundary would be 0 0.02 and i want size <coughs> is equal to the the size which we have defined so this will generate the error random error and once we have this what we'll be doing is we will now generate uh, let us do one thing we will modify this e is equal to e plus one so that i want that uh, the random values to be converted into percentage percentage margin so i use on that principle that if i want a two percent increase i multiply by uh, the value by 1.02 so i would be doing plus and let me print e and see what exactly i get here let me execute this code segment so i can see here <coughs> i have these are the percentages so this indicates percentage increment by 1.5 percent and this denotes a decrement this 1.1 and it's almost 0.001 uh, decrement so these values i'll be using to generate my y values e is e y is equal to so i have a 5 so now instead of directly taking 5 i'll multiply 5 by e so I get a few increment or decrement on coefficient. So I'm introducing a slight noise in the data. I'm not taking a perfect multiplication. So multiplied by X and plus two, that should give me the value for this one. Let me see what values we get. Okay, now we do a too much of, we generated is equal to, but we forgot to reshape it into the dimensions which we require. Let me reshape it to 100 comma 1. So what wrong we did was, I don't, I won't call it as wrong. It's it's like we have generated a 20 rows each of 100 columns and your actual linear regression tray was trained on 20 times. 20 iterations have happened here. So let us reshape it so that I will, will, will end up with only one uh, data set. So I have reshaped it. I think now we won't be having any issue with this. Let me check the shape of Y here for once. Okay, it is of 100 and 100. We shouldn't get it of 100 and 100. So maybe we'll also reshape X. Okay. Okay, okay, we have to initialize, it's not this one. So E dot reshape 100, okay. Okay, so now we have a proper Y. So now when you do all this, that, okay. So now you can even check what, what values I'm getting here. So earlier I used to get twin uh, intercepts for 20 iterations. Since when I, Okay, so now okay, now you will only get that because now the shape of white test predictions is 20 rows and one column. So now I think it would be easy to plot. So these are the coefficient is learned around 2 and this is around 5. You will see that they are not exactly same to this because we have introduced a small noise here because now everyone is okay now you can see this so if you look at this this is a train sample so almost uh, 80 points okay almost we have a white train in this and uh, 
to be far more precise if you want to guess what exactly we learned by the coefficient so with noise so instead of it is not it is it is actually model dot coefficient plus uh, based on learned intercept and uh, model values and here if I pass one more plot with X but now I'll use the noise sample I change the color to green so if I execute it now okay you can see almost my line which learned is fine you can see that there's a slight deviation here so now you can experiment with this more the sample more the error it is up to the the person who is working on to experiment with this model and see what all uh, parameters which are being learned right now in this case these are the parameters which we are learning what the data size has an effect what the test split has the effect and what the error introduced in that for example we called it as noise how it would be affecting entire linear model so we you can experiment with this so that's it for this video so this was there for hands-on as a quick reflection for this video I would like to put a question is after training a linear regression model in scikit what do you think like are we able to retrieve the coefficient and intercept which my model has learned so you can pause the video you can visit back the video from the start and you can uh, find the answer the answer is yes I can always retrieve it how exactly you can see here these are the values how I retrieve that model dot intercept and model dot coefficient so th this is a reference uh, curious readers can visit this reference and find out more about the linear regression model which we use from scikit library so that's it for this video thank you